Hi friends, in this video we are going to discuss that it is actually very simple to create an e-commerce website. Well, we all have heard that creating an e-commerce website can be a very technical process, a very lengthy one, as well as sometimes quite expensive. Well, in this video, I'm going to actually change that for you and I'm going to show you that you can create an e-commerce website all by yourself and within minutes and not hours, not days. So what I'm now going to do is go to biz365.co and this is a platform using which you can create an e-commerce website and I'm going to log in. If you don't already have an account, you can always click here to create an account and log in. And once I've logged in, what I'm now going to do is click here on Get Started. Now, once I click here, it shows me a step-by-step -step process using which you can create an entire e-commerce website. So I'm now going to click here, put in my company name, put in my company description. For here, I'm just going to put in a sample description. Put in the address. Put in my shop contact. Now this contact by default shows you the actual contact that you registered with, but I can change that. And same goes with the shop contact mobile. I'm going to leave it as it is. After that, we are going to upload logos. So I'd need a wide logo as well as a square logo. So the first logo is a square logo. The dimensions of these are mentioned here, so you can keep it ready. I'm going to click here and upload the white logo first. Sorry, square logo first, and then the white logo. Choose a theme, and after choosing the theme, my first step is complete. And I can press on next to go to the next step. Now in this step, I'm going to connect the store or connect the e-commerce website we are creating to all the social media links that we might have. So I'm going to put in my social media links, I can leave the ones that I don't have. And press on next step. Now I'm on my third step in which I configure my shop. So what I'm now going to do is choose the number of products that are visible in a single, uh, in a single row. So I like four products to be visible. I choose this. If I want a floating cart, so a floating cart is what you click on add to cart. You know, a cart appears on top. So that's the floating cart. If I want that, I can choose this. I can choose how my cart button looks like. So whether we want just add to cart or just buy now or both of them, I like this. And I'm going to leave these empty if I don't have any other preferences. And I'm going to go to step four. Now this is the place in which we configure the payment gateway or the payment settings on your website. So I can say show COD, COD means cash on delivery. So if you want your, you know, your customers to have a cash on delivery option, they can put, you know, you can click here. If you want your shop to be actually integrated with the payment gateway and whenever somebody actually checks out, they, you want them to pay for it then and there, you can say pay at checkout. And after that, you can click on one of the payment gateways to integrate with. And I'm going to do it with Razorpay. Let's say I don't know how to integrate with Razorpay and how to get the gateway key as well as the gateway secret. All these details, all these tutorials can be found here on video tutorials. There are many, many more videos here, but I'm just going to show you that let's say I want Razorpay and this is going to show me how to set up your payment gateway with Razorpay. If I'm abroad, then I can use PayPal or I can use Stripe. So all these tutorials are visible here. So wherever you are stuck, you can always refer to them. And after that, I'm going to put in my payment gateway key as well as payment gateway secret. So these are test details, so I can put them in. And that's all we have to do to integrate a payment gateway into the system. Once we've done that, we are going to go to step five. This is where we actually configure a delivery or the shipping charges that we might have. 
So let's say we charge 250 rupees for shipping something and the shipping is free if you shop above 12,000 rupees. I can just configure it like such and go to next. Now the sixth step is practically the most important step because here is where you map all your products into the system. So there are multiple ways in which you can do that, but I like a bulk import because you know, who, who isn't lazy? I'm going to come here and then I'm going to download my products. So this basically downloads an Excel sheet, an empty Excel sheet template for me. And then I'm going to fill in this Excel sheet and I've already filled it in, so I'm not going to spend time by doing that, but this is how I filled it in. So the Excel sheet has got a code, name, category, description, selling price and product price. I'm going to just upload the Excel sheet, which I've already filled in in the next step here. I'm going to attach the product sheet here. And I'm going to say start. And that's all that it takes to create an Excel sheet and upload it there. And then once you've done that, we basically upload all the photographs out here. It's important to actually name the photographs properly. And the description of how to name these photographs are mentioned right here. So please go through them while naming the photographs for yourself. And as you can see that all these photographs are getting uploaded right in front of you and they are getting mapped to the underlying product on your store. Give me a couple of more seconds and all your products are uploaded. And that's all. All your product photographs are now uploaded and mapped. I'm going to close this window and then I'm going to go to the next step. When I go to the next step, this shows me how your products and how your website is looking like. And I can always randomly generate a new theme from here. So when I generate a new theme, what the system does is it applies a new theme and it shows you that how this theme is looking like. And if you're not comfortable with this theme, I can always generate a new one. And I can keep generating till the time I like something that I see. So let's say I like this. Let me generate a couple of more to see. A couple of more steps maybe. Well, I think I like this one because this shows my brand in the right manner. And if I like this, what I'm now going to do is go to advanced settings from here, if you want, and change this theme a little more. So from here, I can basically go to my sections, change the banner and go to other sections and change the testimonials. So let's say I can see that, you know, there are there is a banner which has been added, there is a new arrivals which has been added, and a testimonial which has been added. So I can click here, edit this further. So let's say I want a different banner. I'm sorry. I'm going to change these banners and save it. I'm going to leave the new arrivals and leave the testimonials as is. And then what I'm going to do is go back, go to the seventh step. And see that the website is now looking like such. Once we are happy with the look, what we now need to do is go on next step. And this is practically the final step where you can upgrade your plan and you can map it to your domain so that it starts appearing for, your, for you under your domain name. But if you would not want that and you just want to test drive with maybe 25 products, you can leave it as it is because 
the under 25 plan is completely free. And as you can see that my e-commerce website is completely ready. And we've done that within 10 minutes. Now what I'm now going to do is show you how this website is functioning. I can see that the categories have been created. I can go into a particular category, look at my product. So let's say I want to click on this product. I can see the details for my products right here. After that, I'm going to add something to the cart. And this is the floating cart I was talking to you about. I can, let's say, visit a related product. Add that to the cart as well. Then I'm going to go to view to cart, view the cart. I can review my cart here. I can check out. I can do a guest login. And I can pay for the thing. And then as you can see that my pay online and COD both are appearing. I'm going to go with pay online. And there are multiple options on ways to pay that we can pay using. I'm just going to go with UPI QR. And my payment is complete. And the order that we just made will be now available here. And like I said, by doing this much, it's a fully functional website that we've created. Now I can either view my invoice, send it to my customers, or manage this order by accepting the order and rejecting the order and all these things. Now, obviously I've shown you a very sneak preview of how powerful the system is, and you can do many, many more things by mapping things to your domain, creating catalogs, creating coupon codes, which you can do it from here, having more custom fields, customizing the theme, and all this can be done by learning things from video tutorials. And a very detailed video tutorial is given there for your benefit. So friends, best of luck, and I hope that you can take your business online with the help of Biz365. One last note here is that if you need any help, and if you're not, you know, if you cannot make your way through the video tutorials, you can always get in touch with the number given below in this video, or you can go through Biz365 and raise, uh, you know, raise a uh, inquiry and somebody will get back in touch with you and help you out. So best of luck. Thank you. Bye-bye.